Hey, hey y'all, this is a Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales. Gonna do a quick walkthrough for Jeff and his family here just to show them what to do. This is not, it's actually in a game, so we're gonna show you how to get out of this game, proceed to the menu. So we're gonna hold player one down, just for maybe two seconds, you'll hear the volume stop, you'll see the screen stop, and you let up. So now you're back in this menu. You can scroll the games one at a time by going up or down, hold it up and down, or hold it to the left or right to go really fast. Once you have a game you wanna play, um, like NBA Jam, we're just gonna to touch player one. That's gonna start loading that. It will not take awful long, just like turning on one of the original games, it starts coming on. So now that you're in, this being an arcade game, we're gonna to have to credit it. This is a two player game, so we're gonna credit two player games right here on the front with a red button. Once it's credited up, you pick one player or two players. And away you go. We're gonna exit out of this, and I'm gonna show you how to credit up four player games. So everything we do, we're gonna do through this joystick. This is gonna help us manipulate the menu. This is gonna help us go from, from which menu we wanna to go to. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go over to a four player game. And I'll turn it down. Down here you've got your volume. The left is gonna be your volume control. Beside of that is gonna be your treble. And beside of that's gonna be your bass. So we're gonna cruise on over to a four player game. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, with four player games, instead of crediting everything up right here, we're gonna use these light up buttons. This is each player. So player one will be right here. Player two will be right here. Player three and player four. And that's how we're gonna credit them up. So we're gonna credit player one. Player two. Player three. Player four. So now they're all credited in. They're ready to play. You just literally just hit buttons. They're coming in on the evening news. So we're going to back out from any menu. You can now get to the overall menu. The way we're going to do that is we're going to hit this top yellow button. And now we're at the overall menu. We can take our joystick and we can scroll through all these great console games. Where it's ColecoVision, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, whichever one it may be. We can now walk in. To load in, we're gonna hit player one. That's gonna load in uh, any of these games. You can see it pretty much almost has the entire catalog, which I love showing people this old school one right here. The box will come up, typically the year will come up. To load that game, you're just gonna hit player one. And now there's Mike Tyson. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna figure out your path. With console games, typically it's hitting player one or the red button, and that's gonna keep you going through so you can get to your game. So say I just hit player one, and now we're going right up here to fight. Look at that guy, huh? It's fancy pants. So we're gonna get out of this, and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna hold down player one. We're gonna let up, and now we're back in the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System menu to get to the overall we're gonna hit the yellow button. At any time, if the game freezes because of just hitting a lot of buttons, there's a lot going on with two or three people playing, they're hitting all sorts of stuff, all you really gotta do is turn the game off, turn it back on, and it starts up just like a computer. If you see a screen that you don't think you need to be on, same thing, turn it off, turn it back on, it's gonna take right back off. These are real Corridor mechs, which I'm gonna straighten out that mech right here before I go. And um, so, at any time, you know, if he decides to sell this, that's gonna help keep the volume, I mean, keep the value up. You have USB chargers to stay plugged and played, so you can plug and play, keep your phone charged. Um, at any time, if they have any questions, they can also write me personally. Give me a call, 843-450-0171 to get your game on.